hello friends welcome back again so today in this video i want to try to discuss some important questions related to the applied physics for the computer science stream students actually vt has changed this time the whole syllabus for the each branch for physics also actually in the 2018 scheme physics was same for each branch but this time they have added some chapters they have deleted some chapters also from the physics and <clears throat> they have just make it separate subjects for each branch okay so today i am uh, i will discuss about uh, the applied physics for the computer science branch students so it is subject code is 22 phy physics s 12 22 okay that is in first semester second subject and second semester second subject uh, okay also its code is b b phy s 22 okay so <clears throat> first of all in the first module my dear friends laser and optical fibers is the chapter name in which i have uh, figure out uh, some important questions i have given some importance to the questions which will be definitely asked in the examination okay first of all <clears throat> you have to derive the equation you have to express uh, energy density in terms of einstein's coefficient that is a and b it is a very simple derivation over there just Three or uh, three or four steps are there uh, to solve this particular equation, but uh, some theory is also there. A lot of theory is there. Only you have to write the equations. Uh, what we call as this energy density in terms of Einstein's coefficient. Okay. Next one is the definition of laser. You have to focus on characteristics and interaction of radiation with the matter. Okay. So focus on this much question also, but this one is the most important one. Okay. so i have marked here uh, triple star also here working of semiconductor laser which will be the definite question over there as it is there is no option for it uh, if we consider <clears throat> the 2018 scheme so there was the carbon dioxide laser also but uh, in your scheme they have deleted that carbon dioxide laser but uh, this time is the semiconductor laser only okay with the need sketch and energy level diagram also mention its applications so, uh, so it is one of the most important questions as far as the module first is concerned so next one is derivation for the numerical aperture any and classification of optical fibers over there as you know already uh, in the module first there are two chapters where one is the laser and optical uh, second one is the optical fibers so angle of acceptance definitions will be asked over there and numerical ap uh, aperture so you have to focus on the definitions also and my dear friends there are very simpler problems uh, on basis of these particular fibers so you go through these optical fibers uh, questions over there if you are convenient with the laser questions also so you have to go through otherwise uh, you already know uh, in the physics uh, applied physics part uh, numericals will be definitely over from each module okay so there are some theory uh, modules also i will discuss it uh, later on in this video okay so next one is the module second that is called the quantum mechanics is its name this chapter name is the quantum mechanics in which you have to focus on some important questions like what is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Uh, definitely, they will ask this question, and also uh, you have to focus on the de Broglie hypothesis. This is not an important one, but you, as per the syllabus, uh, you cannot leave it. Also, okay, so it is not the least important question over there. So you have to focus on de Broglie hypothesis, as it is the twelfth con twelfth class concept, PU concept. Next one is the principle of complementarity, which is also added <coughs> in uh, this particular module over here. It was not firstly there, but this time they have added this principle of complementarity. This will be the question over there. You have to focus on this question also. Next one is the uh, setup uh, Schrodinger's time-independent wave equation in one dimension. This is one of the most important questions uh, from the module second. So try to write down these particular questions over there. Okay. and next one is the uh, one dimensional infinite potential well uh, this will be the uh, definite question also over there it is of the most importance that is particle inside one dimensional infinite potential well okay so next one will be the question attached to it will be the find eigen values and eigen functions so these are the important questions from the module second uh, dear friends so also you have to focus on this particular part that is physical significance of wave function and max barnes interpretation qualitative uh, what we call as uh, concept you have to focus on that is max barnes interpretation over there so this is the uh, uh, what we call as content for the model second i think this much is enough vast syllabus is there for physics also my dear friends so it is not possible 
for the students to cover all that portions as uh, there are some working loads for the students like assignments like record books and also three internals so it becomes very typical for a student to focus all the part over there they cannot uh, complete the syllabus at all okay so next one is a model 4 which is purely based on the theory some theory concepts are there so you have to focus on this much is the most important question as far as model 4 is concerned that is assumptions of quantum free electron theory or well, next one is the define fermi factor and discuss the variation of fermi factor with temperature and energy and failures of classical free electron theory okay so next one is which is the new concept they have inserted into the syllabus that is Missner's effect and the variation of critical field with the temperature and next one is the explain phenomena of superconductivity and discuss qualitatively the BCS theory of superconductivity for negligible resistance of metal at temperatures close to the absolute zero okay so next one is the classification of superconductors into soft and hard superconductors using MH graphs next one is the RF securities and application of computing that is uh, sorry application of uh, quantum computing over there and try some numericals also my dear friends if you want to pass this uh, you have to focus on the theory part if you find the difficulties in the numericals also so you have to complete uh, this theory so that it will be easy for you to write down the examination and pass the subject with the theory also okay and try some problems top problems are very easy <clears throat> if you just go through when you derive the equations definitely you will be able to at least uh, I am taking out the least case over here at least you will write down the given data and uh, calculate some values over there so this uh, is the fourth module okay so fifth module is uh, my dear friends this is a new module it was not in the 2018 scheme also so applications of the physics in computing this is the purely new chapter over there so uh, you just refer to module question papers which are available uh, in front of you so you have to go uh, through that module question papers at least try uh, six or uh six or eight questions you will just try from these model question papers so that you will get the idea just try to write, uh, give the importance to the questions which you will be able to find out figure out there so ponder on those questions it will be easy for you to cover the model fifth also okay <clears throat> next one is same also model three that is quantum computing it is again a new module which i am writing here the passing module my dear friends in this uh, you have to focus on theory it is not uh, problems will be not there so you have to focus on the theory concepts uh, so that it will be easy for you to cover 20 marks also in this particular module so it consists of a theory only so don't leave this module try to cover all theory part as per the syllabus over there okay so thanks for watching my video